Uh, well, congratulations. Thank and you. I have to ask you initially, your very initial reaction to this material. Um, well, I was a big fan of the book. Um, and definitely my, I'd say my initial reaction to the book was uh, one of, you know, realizing I needed to constantly change my expectations of what kind of story it was supposed to be. And I think the movie is very similar. The script and the f and then the realized film are very similar in the sense that they're um, sort of framed around this like classic detective noir sort of genre. But it, that that genre really doesn't have a whole lot to do with what kind of a movie it actually is. Yeah. What kind of a story it actually is. Exactly. And yeah. and the book. I mean, you're saying you're a big fan of the book because the book is so dense. There's just so much there. And from what I understand. Paul literally transcribed it in his screen, you know, to get the screenplay. Mm -hmm. How, you know, then when you read the screenplay and saw what Paul did, it must have been just so amazing. It was. Um, it was an incredible and very sensitive act of distillation, I think. Um, there would have been, uh, you know, a hundred other people could have attempted the same task and maybe would have highlighted different aspects of the book. Obviously, it's a very substantial book. Um, and I know, and I believe initially he really did just convert the entire book into a script, mm -hmm. more or less. And then I think he just edited, 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 and um, and I think that that's where you really see what an incredible, not only incredible vision and mind he has, but also understanding of what is most important and most central to the book. Exactly, and what is most important, obviously, is the person who is taking us and guiding us through this film, and that is you, uh. my dear. <laughs> you are the narrator. Uh. Not to put too much pressure on you or anything, but what was that like? You know, was that a daunting yeah. experience that, you know, you're telling the story for us, helping us right. guide us through this movie? Right, I, I mean, I think it maybe was daunting in the abstract. You know, when I thought about it, it was sort of intimidating, but it was just so fun. I loved it. Every single day of work on it was so fun. Yeah, and yeah. tell me about working with um, Paul Thomas Anderson because everybody you talk to just clamors, wants to be in yeah. a film with him. You know, I'll get your coffee, I'll do anything. Yeah. What is it about this man? Um, well, I think I think there's two things really about him that are most attractive to someone who wants to be in a movie. First being that he's um, incredibly great to work with. He's generous. He creates a space that feels really safe and really um, easy to work in. He, there's something about him that is just conducive to like good work, I feel like, and his decisions are amazing. His ideas are amazing. And then the second thing, which I, is, you know, perhaps the most important of all, is that he, everything he does is, is great. He, he, he's not, he's never made a single thing, a single piece of work that I don't think is extraordinary. I, he's definitely my favorite director and filmmaker. And so there's just a trust. Anyone who knows his work then comes to set trusting that he won't allow something that isn't great to make it onto, onto the final, you know, film. And so because of that, there's a real freedom to, you know, mess, try things and mess up and know that you can be vulnerable because it, he will only keep what is what works for this vision of his and, you know, you trust that vision is great. And working with Joaquin. Amazing. Incredible actor. Amazing. Very kind person who helped me to forget that I didn't know what the hell I was doing and, <laughs> and you know, very graciously did not allude to the fact that I was not a professional actor. <laughs> well, my dear, you could have fooled me. You did a great job. You know what? You, I want to see you make a movie with a harp. That would oh. be fantastic, don't you think? You yeah. pull that off perfectly. Yeah, like a buddy road story, me and a harp. You and Andy. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. And a harp. You yeah. got to start writing. Yep, Lovely talking to you. You as well. <laughs>